Let's not make this video longer than it needs to be. I'm going to show you the quickest way to make a journal in Notion from scratch. The first thing, okay, the number one issue I see with journals is that they're separate databases. This is going to be confusing if you have to check in the morning your journals and then your habits and then your calendar and then your to-do list and then your projects and then your blah, 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 blah. How stressful. You want to see one thing that has everything and it tells you what your entire day looks like. Forward slash. Nice calendar. We're going to create a new database. We have a new calendar. What we're going to do, go up here into the top corner, press that full width. Say if you want to journal once a day, you want to journal once a week, whatever it is. Don't make it confusing and extra work for yourself in the morning that you have to check your journal in one place and your calendar in one place and your, your freaking to-do lists here and there. What we're going to do is pretend this is your to-do list calendar database. I already have a few videos where I talk about why your calendar should be your to-do list. Um, as I always say, your day is your to-do list. So it only makes sense to have your calendar be the same thing as your to-do list. Don't, don't have them in two different places. It's way too much for your brain. And it's way too much to do that with the journal as well. Keep it all in the one place. Here, journal. We're going to go next to the new. There's this little drop down. We're going to press that. And then it says templates for the day. You might have a few templates already, but I'm presuming if you're watching this, you probably don't. We're going to click new template. Now in here, this will be your daily journal. Now, you might want a few different journals. You might want for your daily. You might want a different one for the end of the month. Uh, I actually do a weekly reflection where I actually write down everything I've achieved for the week. So what we're going to do is just change this to, uh, oh, this is a good one. So on this template, bear in mind, we're just creating a template. You might have a few different daily prompts, uh, writing prompts that you give yourself to kind of like inspire you and... Uh, um, just make it easier to start writing. So what we'll do is let's just uh, think of a few different writing prompts. Let's say things that I'm grateful for this morning. Then let's just add a divider forward slash div. What are my main priorities today? What would make today a good day? So we have some questions here. Obviously, you can edit this as much as you want. So here we have the daily journal. All you do is at the start of your day, you hit the plus and then you just select daily journal. And there we go. It will start loading. So then you can start answering I'm grateful that the viewer of this video subscribed. Now, you might be thinking, how do I track that I'm doing this every single day? That's the beautiful thing. You're not going to do that. We could easily do a, uh, just do a formula to work out a database on how many times you've done this. However, you don't want that because it actually, it, it's discouraging. If you miss a day and it goes from 100% to 90%, and then the next day you miss it, and then you're down to 80% or whatever, and it keeps fluctuating, and then, you know, the next day it might go to 83% or whatever it equates to. Okay. Okay. It, it, it's not very motivating to see these numbers decrease. It's day one, mother- Personally, I just don't find that very motivating. I prefer keeping it um, more simple. If I don't do it that day, then that's fine as well. Roger that. So there we have the daily journal. Then we can just make a new one for new template, weekly reflection, and then we might want some different kind of questions for this. What three things that I do this week that I'm proud of, what do I want to do next week differently, stuff like that. So again, then when it comes to the end of the week, you just hit the plus and then you select weekly reflection. Now, say if you don't want to see these anymore in your view, you've done them. You can either just change this to a check emoji and you can see in this task that you've done it. Or the other way, what we can do is click here, add a new property. This property is going to be the checkbox. So you just press that. Then what we're going to do is duplicate this calendar view. Click here, uncompleted, drag this one first, come over to filter, add advanced filter, where checkbox is unchecked. So now if this is ticked in, you can see it's no longer here, but it does appear here. Let's say if you want to quickly view the checkboxes without having to actually click on the item itself, what we can do is just click on these three dots, click on properties, and then click on this eye icon here for checkbox and now as you can see it's available there so then when you tick it it's gone from this view this is the quickest way to do a journal i'm not even going to do a template it takes two seconds i'm currently working on one big ultra database for productivity and living the best life you can it's kind of combining everything that i've been talking about in previous videos and future videos that i'm uh, currently making it's all going to be combined into like the one perfect dashboard to kind of just propel your life. Personally, I found that systematizing and creating a really good productivity system has really helped my life in just a number of areas. So hopefully it's helpful to you. Make sure you subscribe. See you next week.